Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, we are seeing the destructive impact of Nicole along our local beaches. One day after the storm came crashing ashore on the Treasure Coast. Volusia County making national headlines with homes, condos, hotels on the beach washed away by the ocean. You know, it just almost doesn't seem real to see all this, even though you know it's a possibility living here. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis toured the hardest hit areas today, assessing the damage and meeting with residents. People now picking up the pieces from this rare November storm. So far, the storm is being blamed for at least five deaths in Florida, four in Orange County and one in Brevard County. But those numbers could change as more information comes in. The storm is now past Florida and Georgia, but not without leaving its mark and right before the holiday season. Tonight, our News for Jacks reporters headed to local neighborhoods where homes were flooded. We begin with Eric Avigny joining us live from Ken Knight Drive. Eric? Yeah. Yeah, that uh, Rebalt River that we've been talking about that's been overflowing, it is directly behind me. Now, I know it's a little bit hard to see right now because of how dark it is out here, but uh, the edge of the river is exactly less than 100 feet from this gate. Now, at some point later tonight into the morning, uh, it is expected to experience high tide. When that happens, all of this will once again be underwater. That water is expected to once again carry into the yards and then out into like the front yards. Uh, th that, of course, means that many of these homeowners are going to have to clean all that stuff up again, especially if some of that water gets into their home houses. The cleanup effort for homeowners and renters on Ken Knight Drive who experienced flooding during Nicole has not been pleasant, despite flood water subsiding when the Rebalt River located behind the homes is at low tide. The swollen river still overflows during high tide. You're fighting Mother Nature. Mother Nature is a, oh man. It's just no matter how hard you try to clean it up it, with the tide coming in, it's just going to just make it worse. Every just time. make it worse and worse and worse. And you don't know what to do. Damaged furniture must be replaced and damage to any parts of the structure must be fixed. No one knows this better than homeowner Shane Lee. He was renovating this home before Nicole, hoping to have it ready for the next renter. But now his workload has increased thanks to the recent flooding. It's been quite a headache uh, dealing with this water. Um, rising and the damage from the side of the side of the brick and I had to replace all that and then tracking all the water in and out it's just gonna be one heck of a cleanup now this visible water level gives you an idea of how high the uh, flood waters rose when the Revolt River located behind these homes overflowed. Now, unfortunately, many of the people that live in these homes along the river will have to go through it again because of high tide overnight. People who have lived here for most of their lives say they can remember a time when the Revolt River was much wider than it is today and flooding was less of an issue. The width and the, how deep it is, you know, we don't have it anymore. It, it needs to be trenched out so that you can, so the water have somewhere to go. Seemed like they should be able to do something with it. Uh, engineers or somebody could come out and figure out what they could do about that. And if the flooding was not enough, folks living in this north side community are now being asked to either boil their water for drinking and food preparation or use bottled water. A boiled water advisory is the result of a water main that got damaged when large underground tree roots shifted during the cold. When something like that happens, bacteria and foreign matter found in flood water can easily get into drinking water. By the way, a boil, a boil water advisory also went into effect in this very same community right after Hurricane Irma. Uh, that was when sewer lines overflowed. So uh, the folks who live here, they do have a history of dealing with the, uh, that type of issue. Reporting live, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, we've aired stories about the city offering to buy up those homes along the river. Are owners not taking the money and leaving? So many of the homeowners I spoke with are much older and they say that they have already uh they have already paid off their the the, 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 the home loan, so they, they own these homes. They, they don't owe anything else on them. And they say that the money that the city is offering is simply not enough money for them to just uh just start over somewhere else. It's not enough money uh, to put down on another house. You have to remember some of these people, they're on fixed income. So the money that they say they're being offered is just simply not enough. All right, Eric Avenue reporting live for us tonight. Eric, thanks.